When it comes to strategizing on what you should be doing new for your products or services in the coming year, many organizations scramble. They look at what is it that the competition has done last year or this year and what is it that we can do beyond that and they try to overdo stuff. They try to bring in a lot of wow factors like digitization, real-time data and all that stuff, right? It's good. But does that really create a differentiation for you from a client's perspective in the eyes of the clients? Does it really create a loyalty from the client's perspective or it's perceived as something that's really cool stuff but I wouldn't want to have it. Think about how many new technology products you have seen in the last few years that you thought were wow products, but you never decided to buy them, like the Google Glasses. So in order for you to strategize for the coming year on what you should be doing different for your clients, or what are the new product features you should prioritize, how you should create a differentiation in the market, I suggest you look at a tool called Moscow. It's a very simple and easy tool. But if you're not familiar, Moscow is an acronym for must-haves, should-haves, could-haves, and wouldn't-haves. Briefly, must-haves, it's very obvious, things which are mandatory for you to stay at the business and serve your clients. So if you don't have them, you don't have a chance, you don't stand a chance of doing business with your clients. So they are mandatory stuff. The next is should-haves. Should-haves are those which are needed if you want to deliver performance in the market. If you want to acquire new clients and retain them, if you want to actually be a formidable player in the market, you need these should-haves. The could-haves are the delighters. They are like the icing on the cake. They are the stuff that you should be doing in order for you to create a differentiation in the market and stand apart from the rest of them. Sure, now you're able to relate between the three. That is the must-haves, should-haves, and couldn't have, could-haves. The last is the wouldn't-have. The wouldn't-have are those things, those good things, good features, that you don't want to do for your customers because it sounds like overdoing stuff, thinking far beyond what the market is capable of absorbing. So look at things which you wouldn't want to do right now. Might be you want to push them into the back burner and consider them the years coming. So the Moscow tool, as I briefly described, which stands for must-haves, should-haves, could-haves, and wouldn't-haves, is a very easy and powerful tool which can help you to prioritize, strategize, and what you should be doing for your clients next year.